you hit record? Okay, we want to thank everybody for our April 19th meeting um, for the Local Development Council. Uh, the agenda, um, if you downloaded it from online, is very brief tonight. And uh, we wanted to start. Nicole has an update for us on the um, mid year reports. Uh, in the midst of that, I think what we need to do, Ryan, is talk to Kanika in our next workshop to put some real strong emphasis on the fact that these reports, the mid year reports, due in December. And I don't know, perhaps threaten uh, the loss of <clears throat> any further possibility of funds or something on them. But here we are in June, I mean, April. Um, and these mid-year reports are due um, uh, at the end of December, and some of the excuses just don't make sense to me. Oh, I forgot uh, I'll have it by the end of the month. Uh, but I, th I think that that's probably a, a, a problem on our part and not putting strong emphasis in the workshop with respect to the uh, mid-year report. So we will uh, work on that. Um, uh, Nicole, how many, what, do we have anybody outstanding at this point? We do. I'm pulling up the um, document now. I did send you the report. Okay, I didn't. I don't. I haven't had an opportunity to look. Okay, no problem. I'm pulling it up right now, and I can give you that exact number. Of course, this is uh, in my mind in inexcusable that uh, these reports not uh, submitted when they're due. Go ahead, Nicole. I'm sorry. Um, as of right now, we have seven. Um, I did hear back from People for Change Coalition, <clears throat> excuse yeah, me, and they said that they will submit theirs on the 20th. Um, also, the Prince George's County Fire and EMS Foundation Incorporated they were su supposed to submit theirs as of yesterday, and I haven't received anything yet. Okay, now I, I started reaching out. I talked to Fame, um, um, uh, the advancement of uh, music. Uh, she said that she sent her report in, and also yes, we have hers. You do, and she said she also included a request for repurpose. I didn't see that. I just have her report. Right. I just have the email okay. with her report right. in it. Okay, so you, you, you're missing how many now? Seven. Okay. Um, my mindset is to, if we can't get these by the end of the next week, I, you know, we need to give folks a break, but if we can't get them by the end of the next week, uh, my preference is to send them to audit inspections to see what's going on and what they're doing. Um, we have to be very, very tight with the idea of these spending requirements and making certain that people um, are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So we'll talk about that, uh, Nicole, offline, but that's that's my mindset and my idea. Um, and we can kind of move from there. Um, we'll move on to um, operating procedures uh, for each committee. Those of you who have been assigned to committee assignments, well, we've been trying to get this accomplished for some time, but we've been losing folks. And um, of course, COVID created some problems, but we need to uh, in my mind, we need to uh, develop an operating procedure for each one of our divisions so that uh, when we vacate these positions, we, at least those are coming in behind us, will have some kind of platform that they can uh, start with and begin with and kind of go from there. Uh, but it's important that we do that and get that done. My time is up at the end of December, and uh, I'd like to get all of that stuff in place so that we can leave those behind, coming behind us with some platform that they can um, um, operate on and move forward with. Now, uh, I'd like to move on to the up updates to the website. Ryan, I want to thank you for updating the website. I hope Dr. Huggins has had a better understanding of the website since you've done those operations and upside, up updates. Um, now, the letter from um, the county exec to Councilman Burroughs, is that on the, did you upload that on the site? There isn't a letter from the county executive to the council member, but there is a letter that transmits the recommendation, well, the, the final plan that the county uh, wanted 
to the county council. So that should be on the website, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm speaking of the letter where she emphasized and made uh, made clear that she wanted to see the, uh, the process come through the local development council and that uh, the funding that was going to Forest Heights, uh, she has some concerns about that, the letter that you said you drafted. Oh, th no, that, that is not on the website, no. Okay, what I'd like to do is kind of make certain that the, uh, if you're not, if we, can we put that on the site first off? I don't see why not. I, 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 the only reason we didn't put that on the website is that's just not generally a part of the, the general. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go. Uh, like we can, we can see about that, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get that to go on the website. And if you can distribute that to all of the uh, LDC members, I think that would keep us in the loop with, with everything that has transpired since we have made these, or since Councilman Burroughs has made these changes to the school thing. So I, I think it's important to bring the entire LDC up, up to date on that. That's, uh, in my mind, that's important. Um, other than that, uh, I don't have anything but uh, comments and any new business that um, anyone has or any questions that you may have, uh, we'll get these committee assignments done and finished probably, probably before our next meeting um, and kind of go from there. But uh, if, if anyone has any any uh, comments or concerns, this is the time to do that. No? Mr. Taylor, how are you, sir? All right, Christina. I'm walling you. Okay, any any comments or concerns you'd like to add? No, no, sir. Uh, Pastor uh, Robinson, Pastor Robinson, ahead, I, I did want to provide an update about the um the uh, grant applications. So they're they're, okay. still, they're still currently yeah. under review by OMB. Um, uh, according to our timeline, they're scheduled. That's scheduled to be complete. Uh, this Friday mm -hmm. and be transmitted to the LDC this Friday. Um, based on my conversations with OMB, they're being um, they're 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 in budget season right now, so this is a very tough yeah. time of year yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. I suspect they're going to need a little bit more time uh, to go through and review review the uh, the applicant the applications to make sure that they're complete. Uh, okay. I'm pushing for the applications to be transmitted to the LDC next week. Uh, so we'll, we'll only lose a couple of days. Uh, so we, okay, we just go about a week behind. Something like that. Yeah, I think. Okay. So. Yeah, but, but I uh, okay. yeah, but they're, they're still reviewing, and um, I think they're trying to get trying to get through it as fast as they can. Well, I don't think the selection committee team will have a problem with that. Uh, I did see the communication between yourself or I don't know who. Uh, Dr. Lattimore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I saw that conversation. So. I think we'll be all right with that. Are you Mr. able Taylor. to disclose how many came in? How many? I know it's still in review, but how many were received? Uh, it was 60 something. Oh, really? Uh, applications received. Yeah, it was 60. I, I can't remember. I think it's, let, let, let's, let's, for the sake of argument, let's say 65. I think I said in the previous meeting uh, what it was, but I can't remember off the top of my head uh, how many applications. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no, I have no idea how many applications are going to make it through right. OMB over to you guys. I have no idea what that number is yet, but I know it's sixty something applications were received. What, what was it last year, Ron? You remember? I, I don't know. Okay, was it I in the forties? No, I, I, it was no, it was more than that. It was overwhelming. It was, I, I think it might have been something in the neighborhood of sixty something, maybe seventy. I'm not. I, I'd have to go check my notes <laughs> and figure that out. Uh, but if you give me a moment, I can. Uh, Look oh, up. it was 68, 68 submissions last uh, year and last 46 year? Accept, and forty six accepted for further review. Too. Right. Okay. And it was sixty something this year as well. So we're mm -hmm. we're, we're still on, on the right track. And of course, uh, sixty seven to me when we we spoke at one point. Sixty seven. Okay. So we're, we're 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 one below, but hopefully more make it out of OMB. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, because go I'm, ahead. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Yes, because I'm, I'm still learning this process, uh, let me ask the question, are there persons in, in that 60-something number who can repetitively request these funds, um, or are we saying we're giving new opportunities for persons who may not have applied before? Well, that's been, that's been a concern for the selection uh, committee. We, um, 
try to as much as possible avoid uh, repetitiveness in that process of giving the same people money every year. Um, that uh, is important and trying to allow other people who are competing for the money to get a shot at it. So we, we definitely take that in mind. And of course, the services that are, that are being provided um, you know, take precedent, but we don't want to give them give the same money to the same people all the time. Uh, Mr. Taylor is online, and I think he fell prey to that last last year. Is that right, Mr. Taylor? He must be driving or something. Uh, but but go ahead, Ryan. Uh, Dr. Huggins, as a, as a matter of policy, um, I, I think what you're asking is: is there any kind of restriction? There is not any kind of restriction on that. That is to the discretion of the LDC. Uh, if there's a uh, nonprofit or uh, a nonprofit that's conducting a program in the area that you all are absolutely in love with and want to give, uh, you know, a, a second, third, fourth time, that is at the discretion of the members of the LBC and the review committee. Um, there, there's no restriction coming from the county on that. Um, so it's, it's that's really up to you all. Yeah, and of course, that's where our attitude comes in in, in right. determining whether we want to give uh, to the same organization over and over and over again, which I don't think is uh, fair. Mr. Chairman, if I may, based yeah. on Mr. Middleton's response, if there are no parameters, we have to be um, objective. And if their program is a good program that's working without any improprieties or um, they are running the program with integrity um, and there's nothing in writing, how do we determine that because they've gotten it four times, they shouldn't get it again? There's nothing well, in well, writing that says they can't get it 40 no, times. No, um, well, we, 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 have, we don't have a hard core definition, but 40 times for the same organization um, up against someone with the same services, but for instance, who have never had the opportunity, I think that would take uh, take some consideration. Um, the the selection committee, of course, this year is new. Um, we lost several people on the selection committee from from last year whose whose times terminated. But uh, that's worth discussion. If you'd like to be involved with the selection committee, uh, we can we can do that while you are while you are um, in the oversight, we can, uh, if you have the time, involve you in the selection process. Um, no, thank you. I don't want to add anything <laughs> to my plate. Uh, but I do, I do want a clear working knowledge of how we are to operate because if there are no restrictions and we impose uh, restrictions, whether they are overt or subliminal, that could be problematic. So yes. I you started off this meeting talking about uh, everyone putting in place and writing some things, you know, that the LDC would like to see for yeah, the yeah. next incoming group. And if there's nothing in writing and I apply and you kick me to the curve simply because I applied before, that's problematic. So I just wanted to know how it works. Um, and I now I, I think I know how it works. I'm not sure. I like how it works, but I think I know. Yeah. Doc, Dr. Lattimore is not on tonight. She's sick, so she could answer those questions for you because she's been uh, on the selection committee for a couple I of years. I can provide just a quick, I mean, last mm -hmm. year was my first time serving um, on the committee. And there is a um, worksheet uh, with a point system uh, to evaluate mm -hmm. the applications that you know we use for each uh, grant T application. And so once we look at the points, of course, we're taking the higher, the high scores. And I wouldn't say, from my experience, I wouldn't say that a previous um, grantee was excluded because they applied before, but we only, we have a certain budget to work within. So maybe the discussion within the committee was to provide a lesser amount if they scored high within the cutoff to provide lesser amount to give someone who's new to the program more of what they requested. So I don't recall that we excluded anyone just on the basis that they had 
applied before. It really came into play when we're trying to work the, what, 850, <laughs> the limited uh, budget as to how we put that out. But I was a newbie last year, and so <laughs> that's just kind of my recollection of how we operated. All right, makes sense, Dr. Huggins. Yes, yes, that makes sense, yes. Okay, uh, Ms. Wilson. Good evening, everybody. I was just wondering about these operating procedures that you um, were talking about developing. Wouldn't that address most of the problems we would have with people who would be applying more than once? You know, well, it could. It, it, it could if that operating procedure is in the uh, selection committee, it could. But just as uh, uh, Rashida just said, uh, I mean, the, the point system, the spreadsheets, there's a lot of things that go into that. So um, we, we just have to work through this operating procedure for the selection committee, uh, for the oversight committee, those kind of things. We've, we've had a hard time trying to put that together and losing people to term limits and those kind of things. I've been trying to do that for the last, well, we had COVID uh, for the problem about the last year, but uh, yeah, that would, that would help a little. My other question is, um, for the uh, procedures, and Ms. Jackson, you said last time they had some requirements that you used to evaluate them. Is it, is it possible to get a copy of those so that we can sort of work that into some of the SOPs that we have or the operating procedures that we would have? Is well, that list or that system? Let me answer that for We have an over, over, overall operating procedure, but what we're talking about is the operating procedure for each division for oversight, for selection, for, for um, the legislative branch, those kinds. We, we, we have an overall, uh, and I think, uh, I think you've received a copy. I think Ryan put that out uh, in welcoming all the new folks. So we have an overall procedure, but we're talking about a specific operating procedure for each of these um, divisions. Is what for each of the committees to yeah. show how the committee, like how many people will be on the committee, what their function, um, roles and responsibilities, that sort of thing, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Ms. Wilson, Ms. Wilson, if you're asking for uh, sort of how how applicants are, like, are scored and, and how all of that is broken down, um, right. th that, that will all be provided once the um, applications are transmitted to the LDC. So there's going to be a whole rubric and whole criteria that makes it very simple to score each application for um, quality. And the last one, will everybody on the committee review the application or is there just a specific group of people that will actually see the applications? Well, as they come actually, out? the selection committee is, is uh, okay. the ones who will review that. That's a very tedious process. And uh, it's uh, assigned to the selection committee. So the, just to add, um, the selection committee will review all of the applications. So there's a, um, there are only a certain number of people who can be granted full access to all the files. There's a lot of uh, financial information, sensitive information. So the committee will review and then we'll um, make recommendations and the LDC, the rest of the uh, council will see the recommendations that we Cool. So, and then some submission, on. yeah, we may have clarification questions like as we're scoring, you won't see like the low scores. Uh, we kind of fill them out and then we'll present the recommendations to the chair and co chair and committee and council. I'm sorry. Okay. And then Thank we, uh, and then we send uh, to those who didn't make it, we send them uh, a letter letting them know uh, that they didn't make it and why. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, Ms. Patel? No question. All right. Ms. Lane? I don't have any questions. All right. Uh, Ms. Jackson, did I get, get to you? Which one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Christina, I'm sorry. Yes, I have no questions. I have no okay. questions. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Taylor, are you, are you, can you hear us? Okay, I think that that's it then. Uh, Ryan, you have anything you wanna, wanna? Okay, now, Ryan, when is your, when is your last uh, day uh, and, and when is Mr. Bird coming? What, what you guys doing, man? I mean, you well, know, like. 
you know, t- t- technically, tech, M- Mike, Michael is the LDC liaison right now. Okay, uh, I, I'm I'm here to sort of uh, slowly uh, transition, and because we we won't start giving him a hard time at, at <laughs> some point in time, man. I mean, you know, we gotta baptize him, man. We 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 got we gotta do something to him or or something to baptize him into the group, you know. Which, which is why I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> Now, Mr. Bird, you'll find this to be a very warm group. Uh, we try to have a lot of fun, man, um, in this process and not be so serious about things. Of course, there are things that get serious, but uh, I think you'll enjoy the group. I really do. Definitely looking forward to it. Okay. All right. If that's it, if everybody, uh, Dr. Huggins, do you have any more questions? I, I just kind of like your questions, Dr. Huggins. You, you almost like you want to start something, you know? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman, I don't, I don't want to start anything, uh, but I just want to be educated and I want to learn. I really no, do. I really your do. Questions are great questions, and we deeply appreciate uh, your, uh, your, your, your questions. So please don't, don't hesitate. I'm just messing with you. I haven't had a chance to talk to you. We were supposed to meet and didn't get together. So I'm uh, I'm just kind of getting back at you right now. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, if um, all hearts and minds. One are moment. Settled. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I just right. had, a, I just wanted to put something out there because I've been thinking about this. So I know that we've talked about, um, I guess, getting some data on how the money is spent from the grantees from the prior year. And I'm just wondering, like, um, what is that process? When do we see it? Um, and what happens if they don't provide that information? I mean, well, I think that kind of goes along with, you know, if we had some criteria for past performance in the new applications where they had to actually demonstrate mm-hmm. what they spend. Um, and that's what right. I witnessed today also for the people who were asking for more money in Anne Arundel County, they were demonstrate, they were answering questions, what they spent what they spend on personnel, what they spend on outreach, things like that. So I just wanted to put that out there. It doesn't require an okay. answer right now, but I just like to know, um, cause I'd like to actually see that, see what they have, what, what the, how the money was spent. Um, if it's something that we can actually see, feel, touch, yeah. witness with our own eyes, that kind of that, thing. So that's what the mid-year reports are designed to do. If you recall, uh, in last month's meeting, um, we sent, um, six organizations to uh, to uh, audit and inspections. Five of them came back with misuse. <clears throat> um, an example would be $100,000 given to an organization, um, nonprofit. Uh, the nonprofit is a wife who gave $50,000 to a pro- for-profit who is a husband. And the other $50,000 left the country in three different directions. That's going to to the uh, to the uh, state's attorney's office uh, for disposition. We have five of them that we intend to send to the state's attorney's office. Um, but the the process for the mid year reports, of which we all get to look at at some point in time, and get to go through them, ask questions, those kind of things. Um, I have. Uh, chosen not we haven't we don't have them all at, at this particular point i'd like to get the, the rest of them before we get into the process of um of uh looking at new awardees because if you've got organizations that have not submitted the mid-year report and then uh submitting for new money that's in my mind a no-no so the report comes out twice and we're looking at that but um um Everybody gets to see those. If I, I, as I said to you, in my first or second meeting, I can't remember, we had a stack of media reports sitting in front of everybody. I just combed through those, looked at a, an organization that received $25,000, $18,000 went for a brand new van, $7,000 left for the organization. And when you look at the money, it looked to me like the books were being cooked. Uh, my question was, um, how is that possible? He's gone. With a with an eighteen thousand dollar van, a year later, so you know those those that's the kind of thing that just kind of stuck in me with developing this oversight committee. So you know, I mean, we we look at this stuff closely, 
uh, and the mid-year reports, I have concerns with almost six, seven, eight, nine, ten people that have not, I mean, due in December, that have not uh, submitted, and here we are in April. Uh, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. We probably should be doing that month uh, more often, like monthly or at a minimum quarterly, and we probably should be asking for receipts. I, I agree with that. And, uh, I agree with that. Okay. Uh, I, if 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 I had my way, it would be quarterly. Um, and uh, of course, when you look at some of these reports, um, I, I've been talking to Kanika about the idea of uh, adjusting the the budget sheet for those reports. Um, it's just a little bit, it doesn't get into the detail that I would like to see. I mean, you can tell whether the money is being spent in different places or not, but I'd like to see a bit more detail than, than we're getting from, from these budgets. But yes, we do get those and everybody gets to look at them and you get to comb through them and you get to ask the questions that you need to ask. Uh, we don't have them all yet. And uh, I've actually not started looking at them. Um, but uh, when we do, everybody will get a copy of it and you can um, talk directly to, to the nonprofit to find out, you know, to answer the questions you want to, you want understood. Make sense? I don't, the, the fact that we don't have them all is, is a little unsettling. Oh, yeah. I mean, I you know, that. that's part of the process and they don't provide it. That's concerning. I agree with that wholeheartedly. If I had my way, everybody would go to jail. Let me let me let me behave. Let me behave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I told you I didn't have a filter. But wait, uh, wait, Ryan. I did want to provide a little bit of information because uh, no one here was here when um, uh, the county executive first took office, and and we and, and the new administration came on board. The LDC used to, um, and this is back when everything was in person and there was no Zoom. Uh, the LDC used to, as part of the grant process, have like a, a, an interview and receive a presentation from each of the grant applicants. Uh, now, all of that was in person. They went away from that. And the reasoning for that was uh, because they didn't want a, an organization that, you know, may have like a flashy presentation, uh, but didn't have substance to their uh, program and to their application. They didn't want that to influence um who they picked and, and chose for their uh grant application and also they, they, they there was also the issue of um logistics uh getting everyone giving everyone in in person for the presentation and the mm -hmm. tech issues that come with that uh if the ldc wants to move back to receiving presentations from potential applicants um you know based on last year's numbers that's 40 something <laughs> uh presentations uh that is entirely up to the ldc but i did not put that out there given the fact yeah. that, uh, that's not that's just but, not i mean you can limit it to the people who are you know ranked in a certain percentile the i mean i don't know i mean there's a lot of different ways you can do it but just to eliminate um you know nobody wants to sit sit for 40 presentations but yeah well you 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 are on the selection committee this year right Yes, sir. Yeah, so what, what we'll do is uh, you can employ all of everything that you're talking about then. <laughs> I plan to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, Miss Miss Vice Chair. Trust me, I know. <laughs> all right. Uh, is that everybody that we hear from everybody? Miss Taylor, are you available to say what's on your mind, sir? All right. Um, all hearts and minds settled. All I need is a, a recommendation to end this meeting in a second, and we'll go from anybody. Uh, all right, uh, Ms. Carey has, 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 has nominated anybody. All, anybody second? I second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, this meeting Aye. is adjourned. Um, we want to thank you for your participation tonight. And uh, Lori, I'll be talking to you offline off for a quick second um, so that we can get, uh, like to make certain you're satisfied with uh, this process. And